Manfred! Manfred! Anybody home? Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? Scott? This is Scott! Oh, yes, of course! Well, good to see you. How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. Oh, at my age, time means nothing anymore. I, I repair clocks, but I try to forget about time. How about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's a, she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, young lady. Well, this, this calls for a celebration. I'm just the thing. Wait there. I, I'm sure I, I saw a, a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. Nice to see Manfred again. Just like old times. Do an old man a favor, would you, Scott? Tell him to call back this afternoon. Sure, no problem. Hello? Yeah, this is Manfred's. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. Nothing much changed here. Just the dust and the clocks ticking on and on. Well, to old friends. I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. Oh. Let's have a look. Now, could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter, oh, Sure, please? I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail me. Thanks. Well, let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. Hmm. A royal five. Hmm. Yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Produced between 1907 and 1924. Yes. No doubt about it. It's a Royal Five. Are there many places around that could prepare one of these? I bought the company's entire stock as spare parts for a song in 64. Uh, well, they were going to take them to the dumpster, so I got the lot. <laughs> oh, anybody around here who has one that actually works, has been to see me at one time or another. These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or in their cellar. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. At least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Oh, yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes.
and I'll be right back with the list. You think the killer's been here? If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. Been a while since Manfred went into his office. I should take a look. Hello? Manfred! Hello? Your call is locked, sir. A police car will be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? <gasps> oh my god! He's dead. Oh. killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be his scapegoats. We've got to get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. We better work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. What are you doing, Lauren? If someone comes in, we're going to be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. He must have been looking for owners of royals when he was killed. Forget it. we got to get out of here fast. Poor old man. He didn't deserve to go like that. Lawrence Prince, too. Don't want her to be mixed up in this. Quick! I gotta find everything Lauren and... Dad, are you gonna be much longer? The police will be here any second. I'm almost finished. That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. Come on, let's go. Where are we going? I'm taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. We're partners, remember? We had a deal. This isn't a game, Lauren. Manfred was murdered because he knew the identity of the killer. He was ten feet away, for Christ's sake. No. I can't take a chance on the killer getting that close to you again. I'm not a child. I know what I need to do. I've got to find my son's killer. You're not going to stop me.
You're gonna be a good girl. You're gonna go home and let me get on with my investigation. I have no choice. I guess I'm doing this to protect her. This girl's stubborn as a mule. She doesn't let up, with or without me. It's all my fault. I should never have let her come with me. I can't just leave her like that. She'd do anything to find the guy who killed her son. Lauren! You missed him. I miss him so much. I'd do anything to hold him once again in my arms. <laughs> 